What's up everyone and welcome to Best Car Reviews. I'm Ben and today we'll be dissecting the 2023 Tesla Model Y. Before we begin, please like and subscribe so I continue to bring accurate and clear car reviews in under 10 minutes. Let's get started. Tesla is no doubt the household name of EVs if there is one. There was a point in time where it seemed like everyone was trying to get their hands on one of these models. No doubt a unique looking and overall mesmerizing EV. The Model Y in 2023 carries on the trend of recent years for it and continues to outsell its competition that arguably is producing a more advanced product. But it's all in the eye of the beholder. If you're, looking, if you're loving the design and want to know more, then stay tuned. Take a look at the different trims and details that matter most to you to determine which will be the best bang for your buck. Photos and information in today's video come direct from Tesla from Car and Driver. Let's dive in. There's going to be three different trims of this Tesla Model Y in 2023. You have the base, long range, and performance. That base trim that starts at 52,630 will be available later in 2023. Uh, the long range and performance are available now. Uh, the performance is the highest, most expensive one at 58,630, but that long range isn't far behind at 54,630. The motors offered for this, it's both, uh, all three actually will have dual electric motors. The long range will give you 384 horsepower, 376 pound-feet of torque, and that performance trim will get you 456 horsepower, 479 pound-feet of torque. So although both dual electric, that performance does give you a lot more performance. No pun intended. But they did name it correctly. All will be paired with a one-speed automatic transmission, uh, pretty standard across electric vehicles. All-wheel drive is great to see standard for the drivetrain. And the range here... The long range trim is the best. It gets you 330 miles on a full charge. Performance, due to its extra performance, uh, will give you a little less at 303 miles. Um, that base, when it comes out, um, is said, due to a smaller battery pack, be only about 280 miles. We'll take a look now at some pictures that have been released of this Model Y while we go through some of the features. We all think of Tesla when we think of electric cars. They have been the leader in the charge, and their sales numbers prove it. Certainly a unique design from, from Tesla for the Model Y. The first time I saw it, I thought it was hideous, but it has actually grown on me quite a bit. I'm a sucker for unique designs, and there's nothing else on the road looking like this, aside from other Model Ys. The Model Y doesn't offer the same caliber of product as its rivals, nor does it have a high range, yet it still outsells them. This is a bulky vehicle, and although it's a sleek design from Tesla, don't expect it to be a race car for you. It is said to not respond super well to intense driving, but really no vehicle this size does unless it's specifically, you know, set up for that. You know, like a, a top trim sporty SUV. This one is just kind of standard, even on that performance. You know, don't go too nuts with this Model Y. When the base model arrives... It will share the dual motor and have 280 miles of range, like I mentioned. Um, but really, the base model is not much less expensive than either of the other two, so I don't really see the point of it. Uh, but it's an option if you can't, or if that's a more comfortable price for you. Uh, the long range will be the classic kind of middle ground of looks for the exterior, and that performance gives you the sporty exterior package, and is quite desirable if you're into the overall shape of this EV. That would be the one that I would go for. I've taken a ride in a Tesla before, and although there is an overwhelming feeling of simplicity to them, it's far from it. It gives you a very cool feeling to be in it. Got a very unique, you know, driving experience driving one of these. So if you're on the fence about it, just know the driving experience is very cool. I had a lot of fun. I think the best bang for your buck has to be the long range trim here. Given these trims are all so close in price, you may as well pick the one that gives you the most range on a full charge. Um, you also may want to look elsewhere entirely. If you routinely would need more than 300 miles of range, Tesla seems to be able to get you from point A to point B just fine, but surprisingly others seem to be doing it better at this point, at least at the competition of the Model Y. We'll take a look now at some pictures of the interior while we go through that. Tesla interiors are quite sharp, and when they first came out, they really took people by surprise. I think they were definitely pioneers when it comes to modern interiors on all vehicles too, not just EVs. But materials in this Model Y are said to be of lesser quality than the competition, even on the highest trims. However, the design is done very well, and it doesn't appear cheap by any means. 
and it's not actually cheap. It's just apparently not as high quality as competition like the Mach E, you know, stuff like that. Uh, the all glass roof provides a cool touch. I think that's that's pretty unique. That's pretty cool. For three thousand dollars, you can add a third row to your Model Y. Um, you know, if you got a need for that and you still want a Model Y, you can get that for an extra price. There is 76 cubic feet of max cargo, which is okay for an SUV of this size, but it's really nothing special. It's pretty average. Um, when it comes to screens, this is a very unique car. There's no digital gauge cluster in the Model Y, which there is, uh, you know, a digital, or not digital necessarily, but a cluster information area on any vehicle that just about anybody's ever driven. So that is an adjustment. Every visual and function is seen and done through the giant 15-inch screen at the center of the dash. Um, one unique thing about the system, though, is that it includes streaming services, video games, fireplace setting, and other cool features to give you a more enjoyable experience. There is, however, no Apple CarPlay or Android Auto. Autopilot does come on this Model Y. Parking Assist and all those cool features come with it. Driver's Assist technology and safety features, optional if not standard. Overall, definitely a cool interior for the money, but there's not a lot going on within it, but there doesn't always have to be a lot going on. This is a great interior, just how it is. Sometimes simple is a lot. In review, guys, if you're looking for an SUV, EV in 2023, you know, definitely consider this Model Y. You know, they aren't crazy expensive, considering this is an EV SUV. You know, we're seeing high prices for those. And you have three trim options that are all very close to each other. So, you know, if you're considering getting the base, you're considering getting the long range, maybe you wanted to package something in and all of a sudden, you know, your MSRP is almost at the performance, may as well get the performance, you know. And especially if you don't need the max range. I mean, even if you go to the performance, you're only losing 27 miles of range. At that point, after 300 miles, is 27 miles really matter? You know, you're still going to be charging anyway if you run out. So definitely you know unique to what you want to what you desire um you know you can have it here the model y if you like this design tesla's obviously reputable there are things coming out about evs that you know are kind of question marks you know do they perform in the cold how expensive are the batteries going to be to replace stuff like that that's all things to consider in general if you need to own an ev but if you already know that you want one um maybe this model y could be perfect for you and hopefully this video will lay things out in a clear way for you to figure that out. And thank you all for watching this Best Car Review. Please subscribe if not already. And I'll catch you on the next Best Car Review. <laughs>